This wizard team is better than you think. First off, Christoph Porzingis is back. I've said this all season. He's moving so much better than he has in years prior. He literally looks like he's moving like his old self back in New York. Then you got yourself Kyle Kuzma, who's been phenomenal. I really think Kyle's been underrated how well he's been for the start of this season. And now, what, through... Eight games. This is a team that is brought their record up to four and four. They're 500. And for me, it comes down to the fact that Kuzma's averaging 17 points, basically similar stats to last year 17, about eight rebounds, two assists, and about a block a game. Similar stats to last year. Kuzma's been awesome. He's been solid. He's the third guy in the in the trio because the number one guy is bradley beal the number two is christoph porzingis who's averaging 21 a game shooting 36 percent from three 52 percent from the field eight and a half rebounds dishing out 2.2 assists about a steal game and one and a half blocks a game i'm telling you this guy's shooting the most efficient he's ever shot in his career okay ever and literally continuing what he did last year if you combine his stats from this year and last year in his 25 games with the wizards this is a guy who's shooting 50 percent from the field averaging about 22 points a night grabbing up almost nine rebounds a game dishing out almost three assists a game steal a game one and a half box a game christoph porzingis is the perfect complementary player to bradley beal who bradley beal on the season is averaging all right right here through eight games 21.8 points while shooting a blistering 53% from the field. Yes, his three-point percentage is at 32.4, but he's also, you know, attempting like seven of those a game. Dishing out six assists, six assists, having a steal a game. Bradley Beal is looking to win, and he knows his teammates are how they're going to do that. Anthony Gill started, that wasn't pleasant, but Monte Morris, he's still getting acclimated, playing that floor general role. Bradley Beal dropped 29. Rui Hachimura is our sixth man. Denny Avdia came off the bench looking like the defensive guy. We need to start Denny. We need to continue starting Denny. Denny's our glue guy, even though that's not the role he's supposed to be in. He is our glue guy. He does it well. We need to keep playing him more. And for me, when I look at this Wizards team, I am, look, I think the Wizards are a top 20 team in the year. And right now, Wes Unsell Jr. and the Washington Wizards are playing good defense early on, similar to last season. They're ranked 10th in defensive rating on the young season. It's probably gone up since then when I last saw that stat. The problem is, last season, the players fell out of love and trust with the offensive system. That stuff usually leads to lesser effort on the defensive end. The Wizards are in rough shape offensively so far, but they can't allow that to infect how they're playing on the defensive end. Right now, they're allowing the fewest attempts per game in the restricted area. And that's a big part because of Christoph Porzingis. The Wizards just need to work on getting better shots. And it starts with Bradley Beal. And right now, the Wizards have a problem getting to the free throw line and taking three-point looks. Tonight, they got to the free throw line 20 times. Not 20 times, 30 times. And they scored 20 times. My apology. And they went 32 times, scored 26 of the times. So that's been a lot more than they had previous times. So when they do this, they're winning games. You got to get to the free throw line to get. And they're, you know, they only took... 23s 23s you know in the modern nba 21 threes you need to be shooting at least 33s a night in the modern nba and i don't know if that's because they're struggling to create looks but this is a team that's in the bottom of the league in a free throw rate and three-point volume they're also pretty sloppy with turnovers and all of that has turned them into an offense that isn't up to par but christoph rosing is bradley beal and kyle kuzma are key to fixing that so that's where i want to hear your guys' thoughts what do you guys think of this? Are you guys in agreement with me? I definitely think it's an interesting situation to say the very least, but hopefully they can correct it because we all want to see this team have success. If you're if you don't, you're lying. But yeah, bye.